Hi guys, welcome to another news. A former Minister of Interior and a retired soldier, Abdurrahman Bello Dambazwa, has said that all ongoing efforts that are being made by the opposition to truncate Ashwa Jubala Metunubu's dream of becoming the next president will become futile. Bello Dambazao, who spoke during an interview with Channels Television, said the dream of Tinubu had actually begun when he was declared the overall winner of the February 25 presidential election after defeating his other temporaries with a total of 8,729,726 votes. While speaking for the Bello Dambazao, also stated that we expect that everything will go on peacefully and the president elect Ashuba Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu with Okova and fulfill his manifesto, which contains renewed hope for every Nigerian. More so, we expect that things will be much better as Ashuba Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu had already promised that he would continue to do his best just as his predecessor, Muhammad Obari, has done. He further added that Tenobu's victory was already settled the case when Einek declared him the winner. The election was conducted. Einek made a pronouncement and anyone who is not satisfied with, it, with Tenobu's victory should go to the court for justice, he added. Abdumaraman Belo Dambaza, who is a retired Nigerian army general and politician who served as chief of army staff from 2008-2010, and in President Mamadou Buhari's cabinet as Minister of Interior from 2015 to 2019. Dambazao Secondary School took place in Barewa College in Zara, where he graduated in 1974. In 1971, Dambazao attended the U.S. Army Military Police School at Fort McLean. Dambazao later opened, obtained a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Kent State University in 1982 and a PhD in Criminology from the University of Kiel in 1989. In 1974, he proceeded to the Nigerian Defense Academy as a member of the 17 Regular Combatant Corps. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Infantry Corps of the Nigerian Army in June 1977. Nambazao served as a military police officer, aide de camp to the Chief of Army Staff in 1979, commanded military police units, and served as a special investigator in 1984 to 1985. Nambazao was registrar of the Nigerian Defense Academy from 1993 to 1999. He, was served, he also served as a chief instructor, support weapon wing of the infantry center, and school from 1999 to 2001, and later as directing staff at the National War College from 2004 to 2006. From 2007 to 2008, he served as General Office Officer Commanding GOC 2nd Division in Ibadan. He was appointed as Chief of Army Staff in 2008 by President Umar Musa Yaradua. Toward the end of Yara Dua's administration, the army was accused of attempts to covertly seize power due to Yara Dua's illness. After Yara Dua's death, Dambaza was retired from service by President Goodluck Jonathan. Following his retirement in 2010, Dambaza went into politics and later joining the All Progressive Congress APC. During the 2015 presidential election, he was the head of the security committee of the APC campaign organization. He later lost out to be appointed as national security advisor. Dambaza, who is the former minister of interior and the retired officer, has come out and said all ongoing efforts that are being made by the opposition to truncate Ashwajubala Ahmed Tinubu's dream of becoming the next president of Nigeria will be futile. He spoke on channels television during an interview and said the dream of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tenubu had already begun when he was declared the winner of the 20, 2023 presidential election on February 25 after defeating 
his other contemporaries with a total vote of 8,729,726 votes. He also stated that they expect everything will go on peacefully and the president-elect Ashwajibola Metunumbu will take over and fulfill his manifesto, which contains renewed hope for Nigerians. He also said they, uh, they expect things to be better as Ashwajo Bola Ahmed Tunubu promised that he would continue to do his best just as President Mama Dubari did. He said since the INEC has pronounced the winner of the 2023 presidential election, anyone who is not satisfied with the victory should go to court, he added. Taking Nigerian's comment, J.O. said, There is so much evil in high place. Whoever thought the Nigerian will come out so strong for Ashwajibola Metunubu and APC? People have forgotten all they went through in the past eight years and are ready to die for the All Progressive Congress, and this is why we will suffer for a long time. Beware of those who claim to love the APC. They are from the pit of hell. They are very dangerous. They can kill for money. They are all in the they are all in the occultic. They can sell you for money. Run away from APC supporters. They are ready to ruin this country so as long as they make money. God will deal with them one by one and they will feel every pain when the time comes. Busy, Busy B. Fabric said, What this means is that INEC has the final say, and as long as a presidential candidate is able to rig election and buy the INEC officials to declare him or her the winner, the declaration is permanent, permanently sealed. This is dangerous precedent for democracy in Nigeria. This is exactly what transpired in the February 25 and March 18 election. Benga Idowu said nobody rigged Peter Obi. He did not win. Simple as ABC. Chukuma Valentine said, God will punish you rogues. You people have murdered sleep of the majority of Nigerians. You people will cry and there will be nobody to console you people. Philip said, if Tunumbu was settled even before INEC announced the results, it therefore means that the President Mamadou Buhari and those he appointed to run INEC were just there to, to watch and go through a designated route of frustration just to torture most of us emotionally. This is certainly not right for an ailing nation like Nigeria. Kendrick said, who opened cage for this Malu? Guest said, Oga, you are talking to get reward from the stolen mandate president. Dambazu, you are a disgrace to enlightening northerners. That will be all for now. Please let us know your thoughts and your comments via the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.